Hi friends, what do you do when the tomato plants are done with their crop? We have three options. Number one, let the plants continue and do their best for the next crop. Number two, pull out the plants and start over with the new seeds. And number three, take a few cuttings from the existing plant and start over with the cuttings. But which option is best? Well, I did an experiment just for fun, but I have a few takeaways from this experiment. I have three golden harvest tomato plants growing in this Aero Golden Bounty Basic. Today is day 102. The plants are pretty much done with their first crop. There are only few tomatoes left. The plants are getting ready for the second crop. I am already seeing some new development on all these plants. Lots of dead stuff on the plants, but there is some new development as well. However, one problem I see at the moment is most of the new development is happening on the edges. With this, the plants can quickly outgrow the garden and go out of control. This is what made me think that whether I should let them continue to grow or take some cuttings and start over the garden. To figure out what is the best method, I am going to do a side-by-side -side experiment. In this experiment, I will take two cuttings from these plants and start them in another aero garden. At the same time, I will trim these plants clean the garden and start over with a fresh water and nutrients. Let's see which one works best and pros and cons from each method. Alright, I just trimmed the plants and removed all the dead stuff from all these plants. And also cleaned the bowl thoroughly and added fresh water and nutrition. Now these plants are looking so fresh, young and lean. On the other side, I collected two cuttings and started them in aerogoden harvest. This is not exactly an apple to apple comparison. I am using Bounty Basic which has 30 voltage lights on the one side and Harvest which has 20 voltage lights on the other side. But it's not too big of a deal. We can do a little bit of trade off as the plants grow. It's day 30. The plants are coming back nice and some of the plants started producing baby tomatoes. All the plants have lots of flowering, flower birds and some of the flowers started drying up already. So this is all going good here. Now coming to the cuttings in harvest. These cuttings have settled very well and they started producing lots of flower birds and those flower birds turning into flowers and some of the flowers dried up and they started producing baby tomatoes. So this method is also working very well. So these two methods are pretty debatable. Both of them are working pretty similar. Day 55. Plants are getting tall and they started falling off. They are producing lots of tomatoes and I see some fresh flowers as well. But some parts of the plants is not healthy. Some branches are drying up. Flowers on these branches also not surviving. They are just drying up and falling off. I will do some cleanup and I also change the water at this point. On the other side, the plants I started from cuttings are growing very well in harvest. Both plants are looking very healthy. They are still getting lots of new development and they are still producing lots of flower birds. They are blooming and turning into tomatoes. Both plants have lots of tomatoes in all stages. So this is all going very well. As of now, I really have a feeling that the cuttings are doing much better than continuing the plants. Day 60, here they are after cleaning the bowl and removing all the unhealthy branches. Now the plants are looking much better and tomatoes are growing very well. But look at these plants, 
they are getting tall and tall. The main reason for this tall growth is when I trimmed the plants at the beginning, I couldn't go too deep because lots of new growth was happening on the edges of the branches. So the fresh growth started on the edges and continued from there. Eventually, no growth at the base and the plants turned out to be so tall. On the other side, the plants that I started from cuttings are staying very short, super healthy, producing lots of tomatoes and still lots of flowering. The yield is very similar to the plants in Bounty. In fact, with all these new flowers still coming up, the yield is slightly more on these plants. I think this is enough growth for comparison and observe a few things. Even though the yield is pretty close, the plants that I started from the cuttings are growing like they started from seeds. They are staying very healthy and very productive. I am sure these plants have a lot more life and they can produce more tomatoes. But I don't have a lot of hope on these plants that are on the second crop. These plants are doing their best, but not as best as the young plants. While we are getting same yield in the same duration, why do we want to continue with the same plants and deal with weaker growth and do a lot of maintenance? So my preference is always to start over with cuttings instead of continue with same plants. One more thing I just wanted to quickly highlight is even though the tomato plants can survive almost forever, their productivity will be degraded by each crop cycle. I had some tiny tim tomato plants in the past that lasted for 18 months until I bored of them and eventually pulled the plants out. They went through multiple crops. The yield was degraded in each crop and the maintenance turned out to be more and more. That's when I stopped continuing the same plants forever and always have been starting over with cuttings. I'm pretty sure some of you might have grown tomato plants for several months, perhaps several years. Let me know what you think. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.